Hey, is it a good time for me to drop by? You're okay with it? Cool. Well, you said your parents would be gone over the next week, and it is the weekend now, so I thought maybe we could spend some time together. I haven't seen you around much these past few days. We have some catching up to do, wouldn't you say? Oh no, it's no problem for me at all. I like checking up on my friend. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Do you want to catch up on that show we're watching? No? You want to play something then? I'm sorry, could you speak up a little bit? I didn't really get that. You don't want to do anything. Oh. Hey, are you okay right now? I'm under the sense that something's bothering you. Did something happen? Hey, why are you looking away from me? No, no, you didn't make me feel bad. I'm just confused, that's all. Do you want to talk about it? No, you're not going to be a burden by telling me. You can tell me what's on your mind. I have no problem with it whatsoever. As your friend, it's only fair that I listen to you. So will you tell me? You got in a really bad fight with your parents. And you feel like it's all your fault. What was the fight about? That's okay. Take as long as you need to. There's no rush. Mm-hmm. Take as much time as you need to accumulate those thoughts. I'm right here. Okay, let me see if I understood. They've been mad at you for a while because you haven't been very productive or doing that many chores around the house. And the reason why you've had trouble doing all this is because you feel... useless. Yeah, that's right. I remember you telling me about that. You had a friend from high school who just changed for the worst. He was becoming manipulative and self-centered, going so far as to make fun of your depression. You two got in a bad fight, and... You know what? You don't really need to hear it all again. I understand you're still having trouble moving on from that. No, gosh, not at all. He really took advantage of how nice of a guy you are. He invalidated you, and you did the right thing cutting ties with him. You deserve people who accept you, and I'm sorry this had to happen. Hmm? Well, what's with that look? This sort of thing happened between you and your parents. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh... Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I see now. You tried explaining to them about how your fear in trusting others is having an effect on your mental health. Only for them to accuse you of being too sensitive and ungrateful for everything they do to you? And they left you for a week to think about your behavior? What the hell? Who does that, especially to their own child? It doesn't matter if what happened between you and your friend was months ago, it's hurting you. And they're not taking your feelings into consideration. How long has it been since they left? Just an hour ago. I should have arrived earlier, before things escalated. It wouldn't have made a difference. What makes you say that? because they're leaving home half a day every time something like this happens? Oh my god, how long have they been doing this? Half a year. They've been repeating this for half a year. That's so manipulative on their part. Hey, no, don't say that about yourself. This is not your fault. Hey, hey you, you don't, don't look, look good. good. Wait, hold on, don't... Please be okay. 
I wish there was more I could do for you, but... Oh, you're awake. Hey, are you feeling okay? <sighs> That's a relief. Yeah, we're still in the living room. I guess you were feeling really overwhelmed about what happened. You passed out. Don't worry. It was nothing serious. Thank God there was a couch right there. Had it not been for that, you definitely would have needed a bandage or two. I wish you would have told me this was happening. You didn't have to hide this from me. You did it because you were worried that your parents would cause problems with mine. Hey, hey, come here. There, there. That's all right. No, you're not useless. And you most certainly did not bring this upon yourself. Don't take what they said to heart. This is all they're doing, not yours. Could you look up at me? I need you to look me in the eyes for what I'm about to say. It hurts me to see you like this. Seeing you tear yourself down for things you have no control over. I can only imagine how much this has affected your day-to-day -day life. And sadly, others don't see that, but I do. No, you're not wrong. Parents should be people who you can turn to when you have doubts, or if you need guidance. I'm in full agreement with that. You think I'm lucky? In what way? Because my parents are more supportive. I... I wouldn't really call that luck. I mean, my mom and dad aren't saints by any means. They've made mistakes too. They just... recognized them and knew what amends they needed to make. Children are human beings. And sadly, we live in a world where a lot of people don't accept that. If I'm honest, ever since we met, I never believed what you told me about your upbringing. Whenever I asked you about your parents, I noticed you were always careful about responding. More than anything, the sound of your voice and look on your face were as if you weren't confident in what you were telling me. And while I wouldn't have any problem with you telling me the truth, I completely understand why you did it. Still, I wish you didn't have to do it. What? No, that's not true. Not by a long shot. You don't need to do better. Finishing college and having an online job is nothing to scoff at. And living under the same roof as your parents doesn't discredit any of that. Not in the slightest. Nor should they use it as an excuse to shame you whenever you want to tell them what's wrong. Oh no, not at all. There are plenty of adults who still live with their parents. Some do it to stay with family, others do it because they don't feel ready to live on their own, and there's many other reasons. You and I are in the latter camp, and that's okay. Everyone has to take their own pace. Honestly, I wouldn't even hold it against you if you didn't have a job yet. Again, we're not all ready at the same time. You've done more than enough, and I really wish you could see that. I wish you could see yourself the way that I see you. Just what do I see in you? Well, where can I even begin? You're the kindest, most accepting person I've ever known. You never expect a lot from others. And whenever one of my friends have a bad day, you go out of your way to listen to them. Uh, and seeing this part of you just resonated with me. Do you remember how hopeless I felt when I failed one of my college classes? I was so worried about how I'd fall behind and how it would impact my GPA. And do you remember what happened next? <laughs> yes. You dedicated your whole day to helping me feel better. Even though I told you not to bother with me so you could go with your plans, you ignored me and went straight to my house to comfort me. Honestly, I shed a few tears when you did that. What did I do to deserve such a wonderful human being as my friend? 
I asked myself. You reassured me that I wasn't a failure for not passing that class, and that you would do everything in your power to not only help me pass it, but also help turn around what was one of the worst moments I've had in a long time. You even brought me my favorite food and watched a movie with me. You turned what could have been a shitty day to one of my fondest memories with you. Do you see what I mean now? You're more amazing than you realize. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Now, this is going to sound like an odd question, but what do you want more than anything right now? Two things? But you're only comfortable telling me one. Okay, tell me that one then. You don't think it's something I should have to do? Well, I won't know until you tell me, now will I? You want to move out, because you can't stand another minute here. That's quite the coincidence. Do you recall last week when I said I can move out and live on my own soon? Well, I'm just about ready. Mm-hmm. It's that apartment we passed by the other day. The one found at that avenue, uh, just a few miles from here. And so I was thinking that... If you feel things aren't getting better between you and your folks, you could come and live with me. It'd take all the time you need. If you don't want to move in with me, that's okay too. As your friend, I think this would be the best for you, especially since you haven't had luck finding your own place. But if you think there's a different solution, I get that too. Do what you think is best for yourself. It's what you've always done, after all. Why do I care so much? Well, because. I really appreciate you. And honestly, I, I do it a lot more than, than a friend should. I, I mean, I... I guess I already said too much, so I might as well just say it. I love you. This definitely was not the time and place for me to say that. Ugh, me and my mouth. It's kind of hard to say since when. It just happened. From everything you've done for me to all the memories we made together. Why wouldn't I love you? Why wouldn't I want to do everything I can so that you can see yourself for the great person you are? And of course... I honestly think you're really cute. Well, I didn't stutter, now did I? <laughs> I always thought you were cute. It stung when I didn't take that chance to ask you out to that Christmas party last year. It still does, if I'm being completely honest. For a while, I thought I was kidding myself. I thought maybe you would just want to stay as friends. I didn't want to risk losing what we had if things took a bad turn, so I stayed quiet. You look surprised. I get that. <laughs> this all just came out of nowhere, didn't it? Hmm? Say that again? You love me too? Since when? Just a couple days after we first met. And <laughs> you kept it to yourself this whole time? <sighs> so I take it this is the other thing you really wanted. <laughs> I thought so. Well, I guess we've both been keeping a secret, haven't we? It feels great to finally say it. And it feels even better that you feel the same. <laughs> Why am I getting closer? Because... Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I've wanted to do that for so long now. Uh, I guess I... Uh, you liked that I kissed your cheek? Y yeah. You can kiss me on the lips.
<laughs> uh, you have this sweet smile on your face. I haven't seen you smile like that in forever. I know, I know. But you don't have to hide those things anymore. If you ever feel unwanted again, I want you to remember that your feelings are valid. It's alright if there are moments when we feel unsure about what we want. It doesn't make you weak. It's part of what makes us human. Especially in a world that constantly confuses us. Take as long as you need to get where you want. And if there's any way I can help, I'm more than happy to. You look like you want to say something. What's up? You do want to move out with me. Oh, I see. Your parents have been very eager lately about kicking you out. Gosh, you really don't deserve that. You know that? We can figure it all out over the next few days. You said they'll be back in a week, right? Right, so don't worry. We have time. Right now, I just want to cuddle with you. Would you like that? <laughs> Good. Now come here. Let me get my arms around you. Hmm. Do you mind if I call you baby? Oh, you have another pet name in mind. What would that be? Sweetheart. Aw, I really like that one. It suits you. You think it suits me too? Aw, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm happy that you're feeling better. Thank you for telling me all of that, by the way. It means a lot to me that you're comfortable telling me things. You're just wonderful, both inside and out. And I'm going to help you every step of the way. I promise. <laughs>